Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to finish our look at Whiskey in the Jar by taking a look at the guitar solo. Now, uh, he's still James Hetfield's playing this solo, and he still has that octave pedal on it. So uh, that oct the octave pedal is like recreating a tone an octave lower. Um, and we're still tuned down to D, so the entire guitar is tuned down a whole step. Um, now, at the end of that, there's a harmony guitar section that's harmonized with Kirk Hammett. So we're going to take a look at Kirk Hammett's part there too as well. So until we get that, let's take care of uh, James Hetfield solo. We're going to start here with the same lick that we did earlier in the song. So that should be you should be used to that now because we you know make sure you check out the previous lesson if you if you haven't already. All right, and from there we have this. So that's uh, seven, eight, ten on the high E string. Back down to eight, ten, and then. Quick little hammer pull, seven to eight. Back to seven there. Sorry. Over to 10 on the B. Back to seven on the high E. And then you just basically go 10, eight, seven, eight, 10 on the B. So you just... Then up to seven, eight, and then a quick little hammer on between 8 and 10 there, and he kills the, the, the notes. We have this all together. All right, then we have this. All right, so we're going to slide into the, into the 12th fret on the B to 10, 12 on the high E. We're gonna hammer on to that 12. Then play 12, 10, back to 12, and then come up to the 14th fret. A little slow bend there. And then slide back from the 14 into the 12th fret. To 10, back to. So we basically just go 12, 10, 12, 10, 12. Then play 12 on the B string to tw 10 on the high E, and then slide down to 8. So we have this all together. Alright, so from there, we're basically get uh, from here. We're going to descend a little melody line. I'll play a little phrase for you. All right, so that's, they slid into that eight on the high E, then you're gonna play 12, 10, eight on the B. And then 10, nine on the G string. Then come up here, you're gonna do a quick little pull up between 13, from 13 to 12 to 10. And then over to 12 on the G. And then you'll continue Going down the scale, just 10, 9 on the G, then 12, 10, 9 on the D. And when you get to that ninth fret on the D, you let it ring and just do some half step bend and release there. So let me play that whole phrase together. All right, and then we kind of start the same phrase that we did earlier. All right, so when you get, so we basically repeated that whole section, except when we get to this eight, now things will change slightly. We still have the same descending. All right, so here's where it's gonna change. So when we, before we went, right? Now we're gonna do this. All right, so that's starting from this ninth fret. You're gonna do a quick little hammer on lick, nine to 10 on the G, and then hammer uh, eight to tw 10 to 12 on the high E, on the B string. And then you're gonna go to the eighth fret on the high E. Now you're gonna do a little bar across the eighth fret here on the, uh, the B and the high E string. 
Because you're gonna go eight, roll back down to the eight on the B, and then a little slide here into the tenth fret on the high E, and then play eight on the B string again, into the slide into the twelfth fret on the uh, high E, back down to the eighth fret on the B. So it's a little pedal. So slow. All right, now you're gonna grab this double stop, 10 on the G, eight on the B. Play those a couple times. And you have a little melody note line here. That's 10, nine on the D. And then come back, nine, 10. Back to these two notes. All right, and then we go to this next section. All right, so he has a part of this solo where he's just kind of randomly just kind of messing around with a couple of notes. Uh, but the melodic content, you're gonna slot, you're gonna slide into the 14th fret on the D, then 12, 14 on the G string, and you're gonna bend that 14th fret three times. And then pull off 12 to 14, I'm sorry, 14 to 12, and then come over to the 14th on the D string, and then do a quick little hammer pull, 12, 14, pull back to 12 on the G, and then a quick little pull off again. And then come over to the 12th on the D, and down to the 10. That's real prominent in the solo there, you can hear it. That's the way it is. Now from this low note, You're just going to build up 12, 10, slide into 14, then play 12, all back to 14, back to 12 on the G, then 14, 12. So it's kind of just crawling your way up. Now right here, he's just going to kind of fill up space. between 12 and 14, and he'll occasionally come down and grab the 14 on the D. So there's really nothing really succinct to do there. He's just kind of really filling up space. Until we get to this lick. So that's just a quick little hammer from uh, 15 to 17 on the B. And then some hammer 15 to 17 a few times and resolve in there on the 15th. All right, and then we go back to that familiar lick, and this is when the harmony guitar part starts. So Kirk Hammett is gonna be harmonizing this section uh, lower. So, it, so that's the same lick you already know. Done twice, and then this different inning. All right, so we did that familiar lick twice, and then we have this. That's three five on the B, to three on the high E, and then bending there a few times on the fifth fret. Release it, and then three, five, three. And then we're gonna end it. So that's gonna be a quick little hammer, zero to two on the G. And you're gonna play the third fret there on the B. Then the open G, then fourth fret on the G, back to the open G, and then second fret on the G. A couple of bend and release, and then the open G, so slowly. All right, so for that harmony part, Kirk Hammett is harmonizing it in a lower voice, and that sounds like, his part sounds like this. All 
All right, so what's going on there? We're going to basically have... Um, fourth fret on the G string twice. And then you're going to hammer real quick five to seven on the G. And then go over to the fifth fret on the B. Come back to the G string, play five, seven. And then four, five. And slide into that seven. So it is. Repeat that, do that again. Then you're gonna play four, five, seven again, but then go do the same matching the bends that Hetfield's doing here. You're gonna be doing the bends at the seventh front of the G. And then a quick little hammer, four to five, pull back off that four on the G. So we have this. And now to harmonize, when Hetfield's doing this, Hammond's gonna do this. So that's a quick hammer on, zero to two on the D. Then grab fourth fret on the G. And then open D, four, open D, and two. So bend and release there, just like we did on the G string. And just do that on the D. And resolve it to the open D. Alright, so that's about it for the solo and the harmony section. Hope you guys enjoyed learning this one. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.